Hi, and welcome to another Deputy Feature Release video. In this video, we'll be covering all of our notable feature releases in the past few months, from November 2017 until February 2018. Help guides for all of our feature release videos will be included in the description below if you need any more information. Over the past few months, we have added a number of new features to Deputy. Gamification is a new way of adding more free days to your trial account. By performing simple tasks such as adding a business name, employees, or a mobile number to your account, you will unlock achievements that grant you more free trial days for your business. This is a great way for you to continue to experience the features Deputy has to offer at no extra cost. To view these, you must be on a trial account and the gamification icons will appear at the top of the page. We've also added a new dashboard on the Me screen. The dashboard shows you your most important notifications in one easy to navigate area. So that you don't have to waste time looking for them, you can view and manage things such as unpublished shifts, availabilities, leave requests and more from this screen. In February, we overhauled our tasking screen to add more features and make it easier to use. You will now be able to assign tasks based on an area as well as based on employee. Edit and trash tasks and view finished tasks based on who completed them. As well as adding new features, we've also updated a lot of our existing ones. We've improved the look of the kiosk to make it cleaner and easier to use, as well as giving timesheet approval interface a fresh new look. We've also added custom timesheet fields to Kiosk 3.0, which will ensure that your business is completing all of the allocated tasks that you set on a day-to-day -day basis when you clock out, as well as adding custom fields to the report builder so that you can customize your reports to an even greater degree by choosing the fields that work well for your business. We've made changes to autofill so that it now works in all views, meaning it will now work on a fortnightly or even monthly basis and we've made it possible to edit autofill as well as location settings on iOS devices. For Android users, we've added more options to make the app work better, including adding shift swap approval, autofill, multi-add employees, and scheduling templates onto the Android app. Ease of access has always been an important factor when using Deputy. Because of this, we're always improving our integrations with other software to make your life as easy as possible. Since November, we've added support for integration with two new systems, Abacus Point of Sales and MYOB EXO. On top of this, we've improved functionality with our Bamboo HR and Telac integrations, as you are now able to export pay rates and timesheets directly from Bamboo HR, while Telac now lets you sync clock in and clock out as timesheets directly into your deputy meaning you no longer have to do these things manually. Since November, Deputy has expanded its custom awards library by adding four new awards to our system. These include the Horticulture Award, the Miscellaneous Award, the Cleaning Award, and the Manufacturing and Associated Industries and Occupations Award. We've also updated our New York Hospitality Labor Law, as well as updating casual awards for EGA, RIA, RIA, FFIA, HBIA, and RLCA. You can view or apply these awards to an employee by editing their pay rates in their deputy profile. Thanks for watching. As usual, a link to the help docs for everything we've talked about today will be in the description below.